Hello everybody, it's me, Nikki, and today I'm here with a tag video. I was tagged by Rosie for the um, Omnivore Reader tag. You have to pick four genres or sub-genres um, and then answer all three of the questions for all four genres. Um, uh, it was first done by Emma from A Cup of Books. I will leave that tag and, um, sorry, that video and Rosie's video in the description down below. So the first genre is um, fantasy. Um, and what is your favorite book from this genre? I don't have favorite books ever. So this is going to be like the one that uh, ugh, I had a thing for it and it's left my mind. One that I like a lot and I, if I would reread it, then that's my, that's my, uh, thing. So for fantasy, um, a book that I enjoy and I would definitely reread again is Sorcerer to the Crown by Zen Cho. Um, I think everybody should read this. I love the main characters. Um, the main female character in it, whose name I've forgotten. Uh, where is it? Oh my gosh. She's amazing and I adore her. Uh, Prunella, that's her name. Prunella. Um, I love her. She's fantastic. Um, what book are you currently reading or just finished? Um, I'm currently reading The Gilded Wolves. This is also a historic, it could be counted as historical because it's set in the 1800s, 1889, but it's, I think it, it's more fantasy, so. That's why it's in this and not something else. There we go. Ugh, no, it came with a, a signed thing, and so I'm trying to make sure it stays in there. And then, uh, what book from on your TBR from Fantasy do you think you'll read next? Um, the Waking Fire. It's uh, fantasy because they're dragons. It could also be considered historical because it's like steampunk iron ship trading. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be reading next. Now I have to put these all back. Uh, I suppose that's one benefit of ebooks. You don't have to, like, find the book on your physical shelf and then put it back. Uh, my next genre is sci-fi, and my, um quote-unquote favorite book from this genre is um, The Map of the Sky by Felix J. Palma. Uh, I've talked about this series before, specifically The Map of Time, which is the first one. This is the second one. Um, they all, there's only three, and they all follow H.G. Wells, and the first one is What If His Book... Um, the time machine was real, so there's time machine in that. And this one is what if um, War of the Worlds became real. And the third one is um, Invisible Man, I think. What if Invisible Man was real? This one's my favorite, however, because it... Not only does War of the Worlds, it also does uh, The Thing, like the horror movie, um, and it has Edgar Allan Poe in it. Um, but I enjoy the whole series, but this one's probably one of... I enjoy the whole series, but I think I like this one just a tad more. Just a little. Not by much. Um, and what... Am I currently reading? I'm currently reading um, Nemesis Games by James S. A. Corey. Part, uh, this is number five in The Expanse. Um, by currently reading, I have a bookmark in it. 
so haven't quite gotten around to it yet, but I will. And then what book on your TBR from this genre do you think you'll read next? Um, and I will be reading, after Nemesis Games, I will be reading Paradox Bound by Peter Kleins. And this has a time travel component to it. Because Nemesis Games is outer space, um, and this one is time travel. Okay, my next genre is, um, his, I was gonna go medieval, uh, murder mysteries, but this last one isn't medieval, so they're just historical murder mysteries. Um, my favorite book, um, is actually The Weaver's Inheritance, uh, by Kate Sedley. I've talked a ton about this series. Roger the Chapman. This is book... like six I think and this is actually the very first one that I read um, I got it off of the bookmobile I vividly remember this cover and I've thought about this series forever and I am just so glad I had them all um, it's a semi sequel to the weaver's tale which is the third book um, but I didn't know any of that, and I still enjoyed it. Um, what book are you currently reading? Just finished. And I just finished um, Grave Goods by Ariana Franklin, the third in the Adelia Aguilar series. I also just talked about this in a wrap-up. So this one is also medieval. This is... Uh, is it med yeah, medieval lasts a long time. So that's Henry the Second, and um, Roger is set during the reign before Richard the Third. Who's that? Edward the something or other? I can't remember. Um, and what I'm going to be reading next is *The Yard* by Alex Grecian. This is set in 1889, so definitely not medieval. Uh, it's still set in London. The other two are also set in England. Um, so English murder mysteries is my, my jam, I suppose. And this is after Jack the Ripper. And another uh, murder has occurred and they have to figure out who it was. And the final genre is, um, I guess... It's not non-fiction. Well, it is non-fiction, but it's like biographical non-fiction. Um, for example, my favorite book is She-Wolves by Helen Castor, The Women Who Ruled England Before Elizabeth. So this is about... I, th I know I've talked about this. This is about uh, Matilda, Eleanor, of course, Isabella... Margaret, um, and then, you know, all the ones who ruled in whatever capacity that was for the time. So I really enjoyed this. I obviously love Eleanor, so that was great to read about, but I did like learning about the other women as well. Um, the book that I just finished, it's upstairs. I'm not going to get it. I just talked about it. It is The Life of Elizabeth the I, uh, specifically from her coronation to her death. Um, so the main part of her life, and I loved it. And then for the one I'm going to read next, I think I have a lot of options. More than I thought, which I like. I like this whole biographical nonfiction. It's, um, but I think it's gonna be A Girl on the Velvet Swing by Simon Batts. Um, I should have talked about this in a haul video, uh, but it's about Evelyn Nesbitt, who was a chorus girl, um, and when she was 16, she was raped by a man. 
Um, and she didn't tell anyone until um, she told her husband uh, many years later. And then her husband shot the man that raped her. And it was a sensational trial. So, I have heard about this case before. But, like, only what you would read on Wikipedia. But this should be going in depth. And I love it. So, yeah, those are my genres. I mean, now that I'm looking around my house, those are basically, like, the genre, genres I read. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for tagging me, Rosie. This was such a fun tag to do. I know she has tons more tags that I'm going to be participating in. <laughs> I can't wait. Um... And if you'd like to do this, consider yourself tagged. Even when I was on, like, Live Journal, that's how old I am, or, like, Tumblr, I, I always just tagged everybody because I don't want to feel anybody, I don't want anyone to feel left out, basically. So, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!